This episode, we're going to look at what is most definitely my preferred method to make a perimeter in creative mode. If you wanted to design yourself a mob farm that was going to utilize a perimeter, you could paste in the world eater and wait for it to run and go through that process. But if you just wanted to test out some designs, maybe you have an idea, you want to see if it's viable, you don't want to go through all that process. Here's how you can just quickly make a perimeter in creative mode. First thing you're going to need to do is get the Lightmatica mod by Massity. There's going to be a link down to that in the video description. Uh, you'll need fabric in order to run that. Um, there are going to be other videos on YouTube that are going to walk you through the installation process. We're just going to go through using the delete function to make perimeters. Find the center where you want to do your perimeter. Get out your Lightmatica tool, uh, which by default is a stick. We're going to open the menu and we're going to change our mode to delete for our tool mode. We're going to change the area selection mode to simple, and then we can leave this menu. In this case, we're just going to do a despawn sphere perimeter. So I'm going to go over to one edge. I'm going to right click to start my selection, and then I'm going to start left clicking and include things, and that's going to expand this box. So I left click, it expands the box. It's going to include everything inside the box that I'm left clicking. So we've got that side. We'll go over to this side now over to this side, and finally over to this side. Now what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a large white box where everything that is currently selected, and we wanna make sure we delete everything in there. So we can see I have this over here that's not included, so I'm just gonna click until I have everything inside that box included. Now we can come back to the center where we have everything loaded, and this is one of the main reasons that I like to use Lightmatica, is because Lightmatica, when it does the delete, it will do it uh, sub-chunk by sub-chunk, one after the other. So if you're on a lower end computer or you're on a server that doesn't have super good hardware, this can really take the load off of that because if you do a fill command for an entire perimeter, you can easily crash a server or just freeze up your computer. Go into your Lightmatica configuration, go to the hotkeys tab and find execute operation and give that a hotkey. In my case, that's control V. And then as long as you are on mode delete, you can see that in the bottom left corner there, I'm gonna hit control V or whatever your hotkey is, and we're gonna see it's gonna to start to delete. And we're gonna see right down there on the bottom, it's gonna add them as tasks, and it's gonna go through chunk by chunk. So we just need to wait for that to finish. You'll notice we haven't gone all the way down yet, and this is another nice thing about it. I didn't go down very far, so I can just wait for this to finish, and then I can move the selection down and then do another chunk. And so we can do that till we get all the way down to bedrock and that will really take the load off of your server or computer while you're doing this. Once that whole layer is done, I can now hold my alt key on my keyboard and use my scroll wheel and I can move that selection box down. You move that down as far as I want until I'm covering the next layer right there and then control V again or whatever your shortcut key is and execute. And then we just got one more to go. We could look down in the bottom left hand corner there. You can see where the bottom of that box is, that first Y coordinate, you know, that's right now hovering in the negative 50s. I'm going to go all the way down to negative 59 and do my delete again, because then we're going to be in the area where bedrock is starting. And in the case where I'm usually planning for a survival world perimeter that I'm not planning on breaking bedrock, I'll leave the bedrock layer there so I can just kind of have an idea of what height levels I'll be working with and what my constraints will be with working around that bedrock. Once that's done, we now have our full perimeter there. If you don't have the carpet mod that you can increase your fill limit, then you can just kind of fill this in uh, section by section. So just kind of cut this into quadrants and do fill commands on that. And then you're done. You have yourself a perimeter ready to test as if you're preparing for doing something in survival. That's going to be it. Again, the link to Lightmatica is going to be down in the video description, the mod by Massity. Highly recommend you check that out. There's going to be a schematics video that's going to be coming up in the future. So I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye.